currently south of Loch Assin that we can see in the background here. And behind me is an amazing cliff outcrop, some really interesting structural geology. So what might seem at first to be just a big slab of grey rock is actually a lot more interesting than that if we look in more detail. So though we can't see from here, what we know from the regional geology is that we're in the Durness limestone. And what I can see is some layers in this rock and it's grey, so I'm happy with that interpretation that it's Durness limestone. What is interesting and why we're here is because there are also some structures within this outcrop. If we just start from over here, you can see we've got some fairly flat lying layers. And then as we go up, they get much steeper. And then as we carry on along the outcrop, there seems to be continued kind of steep, maybe slightly changing angle. So if we just put on our interpretation glasses now and interpret these structures, what we, what we can uh, do is see, let's start again over here, where this, um, the bedding changes from fairly flat to inclined, I'm interpreting that there is a thrust there. So this is a type of reverse fault where we've had one part of the Durness pushed up on top of another part along this structure. And then as we carry on through this section, along the bottom there's probably a sort of flat lying thrust. And then as we come back, there is another thrust what we call thrust ramp. So we have a ramp and then we've got a flat on the top and along the bottom we've got another thrust flat, flat and then ramp. And in the middle is what we call a horse. So this is a really great example of an imbricate thrust sheet. And what it has done here is it has thickened the Durness by pushing parts of it up on top of other parts.